Hello. Um, back in 2016, I did a video about um, a nonlinear instrument, uh, a nonlinear airspeed indicator. Um, I will link it uh, in the description down below. Um, and in that video, I mentioned the, the first part going from, for example, 0 to 40 being uh, nonlinear as well. So that means that it, um, uh, if you go from 0 to 40, uh, the 20 won't be in the middle, but 20 will be uh, before the middle. So it, it goes up uh, slowly and uh, increases uh, until the end. Um, I, I will show you uh, what I mean. Um, so uh, I've made a, a very uh, simple <laughs> uh, airspeed indicator. Um, sorry if my voice is a bit a bit weird. The, the room is very uh, echoey. I don't know how to word. Anyway, um, it goes from 0 to 40. And so what we want is that uh, 20 isn't uh, here, but 20 is somewhere around here. And then, uh, I don't know, 30 is around here, 35. And then eventually it will get up to uh, 40. Um, uh, some people ask me to explain how it works. It's actually pretty simple. Um, so um, I have a little bit of script here. And um, at 60 degrees, uh, there's the 40, 40 uh, knots indicator. So what I can do is uh, press send. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, right now, I'm sending an airspeed of 40, but it doesn't use the airspeed. So it will only rotate the image. Degrees. So 60 degrees is over here. And um, so, what we want is um, it should reach 60 degrees at uh, an airspeed of 40. So, um, what we do is we have two variables. And um, Make it uh, make it go exponential from um, uh, yeah make it exponential with this. Um, so when I do this airspeed, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know the English words for it. Sorry, um, but what will happen is of course that it will. Uh, Rotates, yeah, C40, uh, somewhere, <laughs> of course. Um, but uh, what we want is that it, we send this value that it ends over here. So, what we can do is to find out uh, beats. Uh, and we want to reach 60 over here. So what we do is we uh, divide 60 by 1600. Okay, so we copy this. Um, okay, um, and so we have to multiply uh, this value the value we've calculated. Note that uh, Lua doesn't use uh, the comma, it just used uh, like this. Uh, oh, this, <laughs> this is going to be a terrible squeak, as very, uh, just at Christmas and a bit tired. Um, okay, so. Let's see what happens now. So yeah, we can start with 10. It moves a very little bit. 20, 20 is over here, like I said. 
30 and then 30, 40, 40. Okay, so um, if you would uh, uh, incorporate this into a, a nonlinear uh, speed indicator um, we would be something like if the uh, lower or equal to 40 Etc. And then from there you continue with the the rest of the, the argument. Before you start, um, yeah, you can see it in, in in the video that I'm gonna link it. Before you start here and then uh, work your way down. It doesn't really matter. I think starting here and then work your way down is a bit easier. You can work a little bit. Um, I hope this makes sense. Um, so now I. <laughs> I finally did what I uh, promised uh, <laughs> almost three years ago. Um, yeah, if it doesn't make sense, then let me know. Maybe I should make a new video because it was um, Yeah, if, in, it's not that uh, difficult. So I guess you you get the point. Well, good luck and uh, see you next time.